Hey guys, Rick and Duke, welcome to another episode of Warhog Words of Wisdom, coming to you live from the corner of Fifth and Main. That's right, we can get some hopefully uncensored First Amendment privileges here and get some free speech going. Uh, for those of you new to the show, asking who this Duke character is, so Duke was my combat assault dog. I lost him July 5th, 2021 to osteosarcoma. We started the show, and uh, this is just a little way to keep his memory alive. Uh, for those of you viewing, you can see his assault vest in the back, his leash. Of course, I got my uh, explosive design apparel on, uh, the Blackbeard and Friends in honor of Duco series. So uh, make sure you guys check that out. You can always go to warhog.com, hit that about button in honor of Duco and get all kinds of information there. Uh, don't forget, sign up for our newsletter. You can check us out on patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast. Uh, don't forget to check out my co-host of on the range podcast, Mark Kelly over at Kelly Defense. Uh, kellydefense.com check out his stuff as well sign up for his newsletter we've got otr training on demand um on both of our home pages and don't forget industry partners um you can save yourself a boatload of cash whether it's uh aim point kill cliff brute force uh grizzly steel i mean the list just goes on and on take a look at the website truly impressive um great companies we just don't partner with anybody make sure we got some quality stuff uh, don't forget, you guys can use code OTR20 to save you 20% with Manscape. Uh, go to manscape.com. Again, 20% free worldwide shipping. So um, really, this episode here, guys, uh, I'm entitling Wake Up America. So here's the deal. Um, for those of you watching, I've got a copy of the Constitution right there. And it, it sits right here on my desk all the time. And I, I peruse it, read it. Um, why? Because I want to know exactly what my rights are. And I sit here in this day and age and, and I'm just, I'm appalled at some of the criminal acts, the incompetence that I'm seeing from our political parties. And I'm not trying to make this a political podcast, but I need to bring some things to people's, people's attention because here's the bottom line guys, right? Um, my personal opinion, I'm sitting at a point and, and again, I've got the constitution there because I, I need to prove it and see if it says anything about political parties specifically in there because personally i think they need to go away uh i'm tired of sitting there going hey you've got to be either a, a republican democrat independent uh person i think that the democrats are poison for this country they're causing divide like nobody's business uh, and they're looking at personal agendas they're not looking at what their constituents want or need with the exception of uh senator mention out of west virginia god bless him man because yes he is a democrat but you know what he's bucking the system and these dems are hot at him because god forbid he listens to his constituents and does what they're telling him right oh my god what a novel concept these people these elected officials are supposed to be um acting as a representative of their constituents but you've got people like nancy pelosi whose husband gets busted for dwi and wants to sweep that one under the rug or he gets insider information and getting all kinds of money um off of uh, stocks for deals that, that he knows is coming up because his wife leaked the info, whether he actually or she actually physically told him or just left the document laying out or who knows how it happens. Right. But personally, I think there needs to be an entire cleaning of our U.S. political system. And again, the Constitution lays out the rules, but I think a couple of things need to happen. Number one, we need to have term limits, in my opinion. Uh, why? Well, let's be an honest broker. The U.S. government told me at 29 years, I'd hit my mark. You can serve no longer. You must leave. Hmm. Wow. We've got some of these people up there that have been there for life. Pretty much. I mean, let's be an honest broker. Old Brandon been in the office or he's been in, in politics 40 plus years. Hmm. Your track record shows you get Zippo done. You got crooked dealings. You are crooked, right? I think the other part that needs to happen, and again, it doesn't need to come from the U.S. government, but it needs to probably come from some independent third party that hopefully is untouched by bribes. But we need to sit there and start going through a fine tooth comb and auditing these savages all the time. I mean, again, we'll use Pelosi as a prime example. I think last time checked her, and I don't know if it was her or joint or however, $110 million. How do you as a public servant have $110 million net worth? I know I sure didn't have $110 million when I was being a public servant serving this country. So again, 
these people get information, they exploit their constituents, and they're in it sitting there making money for them. Criminal acts, if, if you tell me. So put silver braces on them and haul them away. And then the worst yet is these people don't even know what they're talking about. So again, I'll just use Nancy as a prime example. Uh, she wants to sit there and say, hey, the Supreme Court overturned uh, Roe v. Wade. And, and again, it was just merely going, hey, they're taking the rights from the federal government and giving down the states, which they should be. Uh, because again, if we're not super savvy, um, and I'm not going to get into the whole abortion issue, but again, people want to go, oh, it's a constitutional violation. I said, okay, I, I'm looking at it. I, I don't know where it's in there. Can't find it. Um, they go, you're violating the Constitution. Hmm, technically, if we look at huh, the Tenth Amendment, hmm, I shall read verbatim. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to be the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Hmm. There's a novel concept, right? If you think about it, 1860, we as a country went to war against each other, killing 660, 660,000 Americans. The bloodiest conflict we've ever had over state rights, over this 10th amendment. They probably half people don't even know what the 10th amendment is, but you sit there and you want to spout things like it's unconstitutional. You should have the freedom to, to make a choice. Okay. Hey, politicians, you all forced people to take this poison for your China virus. You forced that. Where, where is the choice there? But now these quote unquote Dems want, oh, we care about women. We want them to have a choice. Dude, you seem like you're a bunch of hypocrites. Why weren't we sitting there going, no, man, it's people's choices if they want to take this poison or not. And then, oh, by the way. The biggest proponent, old Brandon, he got the virus. He's been double vaxxed and double boosted and yada, yada. Oh, it don't work. Hmm. So we had all this hype. God knows how many people we've lost because they had to resign their job or leave because, oh, the federal government or states or whatever were pushing you either get vaccinated or lose your job. Hmm. Shocking. So we want to stretch our power there, federal government, which I think um, no business doing. And then in turn, you want to sit there and jump on the bandwagon for the Roe v. Wade and go, oh, my God, they're violating the Constitution. I, I can't find abortion as anything guaranteed in the Constitution. Now, they want to sit there and make a medical choice amendment. OK, cool. But then you can't sit there and go, hey, take this poison. Hey, do this. Nope. So if you want to do that. I'm fine with that, but that's just Rick trying to give you some, some info so that you're better educated to understand the crap these people are putting out there. You know, we want to talk about the federal government and their power. Hmm. How about the federal government gives security to the American people? So why wouldn't we secure our southern border and quit all these illegals from coming in? Why don't we quit? All this fentanyl that's coming in from China, who knows is killing our citizens. Why don't we do something about that? Oh, we don't bat an eye. It's funny. Again, I'll refer back to the Constitution because we want to talk about these constitutional violations. Uh, and I'm going to switch over to uh, the 13th. So if you guys aren't familiar with the 13th Amendment, uh, neither slavery nor involuntal, involuntary servitude, um, except we're punishable for a crime, therefore the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist in the United States or any place subject to its jurisdiction. Hmm. So constitutional violation of slavery. Yet how many people are human, humanly trafficked in this country? And we don't bat an eye. That's a constitutional violation. I'm just, I'm baffled why we pick and choose these areas. I'm baffled why we've got these political parties that are hell bent on causing division in this country over some set of rules. You're there to represent the people, your constituents that voted you in office. You're not there to get rich, although all seems they do. You're not there for your own personal agenda. Now you can have your values. Don't get me wrong. 
And that's part why people are there. But at the end of the day, we should be getting regular um, check-ins from our politicians. They should be sending out polls. Hey, man, what do you think about this? I'm getting ready to vote on that. You've got by X amount of date to give me some type of response. And hey, the, the biggest tally tick will vote. Um, it kills me because I'm going to call people out as they are. Uh, listen here, Governor Cooper, state of North Carolina. So old Coop's a Dem, and he won't get off his soapbox of because he's a Democrat, all this uh, anti-gun legislation stuff. So here it is, the state of North Carolina tries to remove old Jim Crow laws off the books because, again, number one, they were Jim Crow laws. Number two, they infringed on people's Second Amendment rights. What's Coop do? Vetoes it. Hmm. Now he'll try to use the excuse of, oh, you know, I'm trying to protect the people. Well, we've got the right to carry concealed firearms here, but you didn't think it'd be a good idea to remove Jim Crow laws off the books. Hmm. Interesting, Coop. Uh, then you got old Tom Tillis. You know, we as a state, and again, it's important because I go state, right? Because I, I fully believe in states' rights 100%. So we as citizens of the state of North Carolina, years back, voted on the definition of marriage. And we said the definition of marriage was between a man and a woman. Well, now all of a sudden, you know, Tillis is up there with the rest of the feds going, oh, we're going to get federally involved. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We voted as a state. And next, you know, everything's being turned over by the federal government. We don't want the federal government involved. The federal government should do this. The federal government should provide security for this great nation, but they don't. The federal government should be harsh on the illegal drugs coming into this country, killing our citizens. They're not. The federal government should be hunting down these people that humanly traffic individuals in this country. They don't. That's a clear 13th Amendment violation. They don't. They keep overstepping their bounds and overstepping and overstepping. And I just say this. Why do I bring all this stuff up? Because this year, our midterm elections are coming up. And I would just suggest that you, the viewer, listener, you, my fellow Americans, do your research on who you're going to vote for. Understand, hey, man, these are the people I'm voting for. These are the people I'm not. And make sure that their values are in line with what you want. Because I fully believe it, I, I hate to even say because because I'm so tired of these political parties, but I've been calling it, you know, the reckoning 2022. Well, again, why do we have to pick a party? Why don't we pick the individual? Why don't we kind of relook at how we're doing business? Because personally, I think it's all jacked up. Um, federal government just keeps overstepping their bounds, overstepping their bounds, you know, and it, it just it boggles my mind. So we've had the Supreme Court do some some pretty significant rulings. Yet, shockingly, even the justices are tainted by personal choice because we keep getting this 6-3 ruling. So let's just look at the case of um, New York infringing on their citizens' rights to carry concealed. Well, you know, again, if I open up the Constitution of the United States and I refer to the Second Amendment, and I'll just read the last four words. Shall not be infringed. It's right there in black and white, right? No different. Uh, you can see it right there. Shall not be infringed. Yet, how do we get a 6-3 ruling? We get a 6-3 ruling because you have justices that aren't looking at it from the law aspect. They're looking at it from their own personal agenda. And that's what I am getting tired of. I think that's what the American people are getting tired of are these personal agendas when it comes to these politicians. So I would just say this, my fellow Americans, look at who we got in office. Look at who you want to get in office. And then make sure you're opening your eyes even more. Find out who's educating our children. Because we've got this rocket doctor of a professor out of Berkeley talking in front of Congress and she thinks men can have babies. Where have you lost your mind, woman? You got one or two choices. You're a man or a woman, and men are not having babies. If you look at it, God created man. Boom. Created Eve to be Adam's helper. There you go. 
and she was the one making babies. So I don't know where this new biological changing system is going on, but it's not feasible. And then they start going down all these roads. How, oh my God, what do you mean? You know, she's actually going, well, if you think that, then you're this. Dude, it's cut and dry science, right? Men don't have babies. So how many other kids, because in essence, if you think about it, most of your young people in college, their kids, easily still influenced, are they pumping that crap in their head? Heck, you got the dopes at freaking Apple. Put a pregnant dude as an emoji. Have you lost your mind? Are you that dumb people, right? I, I, I don't get where these people are thinking at. And I would just ask you, my fellow Americans, get on board, man. You know, sit there, draw the line, hold these teachers accountable, hold these schools accountable. And if you're in one of these godforsaken states, if it's within your wheelhouse, bail. You know, personally for me, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the state of New York, uh, the old California Republic. Man, if you're in the sound of my voice in those states and you've got the ability to bolt, get out of there. Because California, California is pretty much hanging the citizens out to dry. They don't care about you. They don't care about your safety. They let criminals just go. Um, New York, you got a guy trying to run for governor that's almost getting stabbed up on stage. There's no, there's nothing they're doing for our personal safety. So you got to sit there and, and I get it. People are tied to these states. And trust me, the states I mentioned, I love the states themselves cut out the politics, right? Got some beautiful places there, great things to see. Uh, California's got some great weather down south, you know, but it's like, dude, it, these people have lost their mind. And we just need to pull our heads out of these magic boxes that keep dumping us this garbage information that Google or Twitter or Instagram or Facebook wants to pump in your head. And check it out. Old school copy. U.S. Constitution, know what it says right there in the front. The Constitution of the United States, we the people, right? Boom. We the people. We the people need to stop this madness. We the people need to sit there and get people that are going to represent us for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Not for sitting there going, looking over my shoulder because I'm concerned about my safety. Are my kids going to get scooped up off the street? Are they going to take some pills laced with fentanyl because the Chinese are trying to kill us? It, it, it's like this madness has to stop. So again, I'm not trying to get on a political bandwagon. I'm just stating the facts. And they're undisputed because the Constitution lays it out. Granted, yes, I've got my facts as far as I think these political parties need to go. I think us putting terms in front of the term American just adds division. We're just call us Americans, man. That's what we are. We are Americans. Let's get this country back united. Let's get God back in our country. Let's get family back in our country. Let's get some good morals back in our country. And you know what? It's <laughs> it's gotten to a point where our mental health crisis is so bad is that we've changed the um, mental health crisis phone number to now it's 988. So that just goes to show we've got some issues that we need to correct in this country. And there's only one way we do it, and that's by at the voting booth, and that's by us being involved, and that's by us paying more attention. So I would just tell you this, my fellow Americans, if it's your time to vote, get out there and vote. Um, and push back. You know, here's the thing. I, I want to see us get rid of this freaking digital voting system. Get back to the old freaking fill in the box or something. Because I know for a fact during the, the 2020 election, we only had two registered voters in the House. And I got eight ballots at my house. Let's get this. Let's get this voting cleaned up. Request that your state has it. Show an ID. You need a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I should need an ID to go vote. Let's get some reform back in this country. Let's get some control on how much money these politicians can raise from all these companies. And, and again, I just say all that so you people are educated. Um, when Tony Cowden was running, man, that guy, he knew the ins and outs on the whole fundraising deal. And he, very smart on it. Um, we need to get it where, Hey man, 
you get private contributions that are limited to a certain amount. I think it was twenty five hundred dollars was the max an individual could give. So again, these people can't be bought because they're all bought. So I just say all that. Um, there's some good ones still out there. Don't get me wrong, um, but just make sure you are doing your homework and know exactly who you're going to get in office to represent you. So on that, guys, um, I will just leave you with this. Keep your heads up. It's all going to be good. Build the next generation. And uh, don't forget your accountability check. Did you work out today? Try fire your firearm. What are you grateful for? And look for that good act of kindness. If you listen, my voice is still not too late. So make sure you guys get that done. So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our troops. And God bless the United States of America. Rick and Duco out. <laughs>